Hey, what's up guys? Zach Calhoun here, co-founder of cloudpano.com, the virtual tour software. Uh, we have a special video today helping you create professional virtual tours with the Rico Theta Z1. This is an interior setup video and I have my man Joel uh, take us away through his workflow and also too we have a lot of other cool photography content to make sure your product, your virtual tour, is world class and if you love this kind of content, please comment below asking for more likes, subscribe, check us out at cloudpano.com. The software is free to try. And if you're starting a VR agency or you're considering starting it, go to virtualtourprofit.com. Check out an upcoming webinar. It looks like this. You can sign up to it and, uh, and we'll catch you on the webinar. Okay, let's hit the video. What's up guys, Joel Nagels, co-founder and content creator for JREA Virtual 360. And today we are at Burke CrossFit designing a virtual tour for their space. And I'm gonna be showing you how I use bracketed exposures to create vibrant, professional, and properly exposed 360 images. Today I'm gonna to be using my Ricoh Theta Z1, but this technique of bracketed exposures can be used with any 360 camera that you may have. And I'm going to be taking you step by step in my own personal workflow. Everything from my setup to exposing on the Rico Theta Z1 app, and then also post production in Lightroom and Photoshop and bringing these bracket exposures together. So now we're going to begin the production element of this tutorial. And what I like to start with the most, especially if it's a big space like this gym, is shooting the center of the room first and then building the rest of the tour around that shot. And now that we're on the Rico Theta app, we are gonna go into the settings here, in the top right. And then one of the first things I wanna make sure I have set is under file format. Yours is probably set at JPEG. We're gonna switch that to raw DNG plus JPEG. The next thing is the shooting method at the top. We're gonna to change it from normal to multi-bracket. Awesome. And then, so I'm in a big space right now, I'm probably gonna put my self timer around 10 seconds. That's gonna give me enough time to run into the next room and hide. Awesome, we got all these set, I'm gonna hit done. And then it's gonna take me to this multi-bracket shooting stream. And then we're gonna hit this plus icon right here. And it's actually gonna give you a little preview of the room that you're in at the top. And so this first shot, inner bracket is gonna be the lowest exposed. I'm gonna change my aperture to 5.6. That's gonna give me the foreground and background the most amount of detail. And then we're gonna go here and set the ISO to about, I'm gonna say 250. We're gonna keep that the same across each of the three brackets. Next, I'm gonna bump this up a little bit. It's a little bit too dark. And go probably about up to one eighth. Stop is pretty good. The white balance is going to change to about 4,500. Uh, it's a little bit yellow. Go down a little bit more. 43 looks just about good. And I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to hit done. I'm going to add the second bracket. Same thing. I'm going to keep the aperture the same at 5.6. And this is gonna be your ambient exposure, which is gonna be the most properly exposed bracket on this, or out of these three. Next, we're gonna go bump up to probably about one half a stop. That looks pretty good. And the white balance is still 4,300. Happy with that. Uh, let's go up about Awesome, and let's make sure the ISO is set at 250, which is the same as the other one. Let's see here, and the white balance, you wanna avoid any of these yellow hues that are in here. And now we're gonna do our last exposure, which is gonna be the most exposed. And the aperture is still gonna see the same at 5.6. Shutter speed is the only thing that's really gonna change. Keep that at, nah, that's way too bright. We're gonna keep that at about, about one second. Maybe a little bit higher. That looks pretty good. Again, ISO is same as that 250. 
white balance 4300 and hit done perfect so we have these three brackets set the next thing all we have to do is hit the capture button and run All right, thank you, Joel. That was a really awesome video. And uh, thank you for the rest of the video content you made for BTPS. I do appreciate you, brother. If you guys want to connect with me and with cloudpayo.com and our community, check out the Virtual Tour Profit Facebook group. Just type in Virtual Tour Profit and uh, ask to join and we'll accept you. Check out cloudpayo.com, world-class VR software. We have lots of users all over the world, lots of countries, and virtual tour demand is exploding. And of course, if you want to sell, sell, sell some virtual tours, check out virtualtourprofit.com. Join the webinar, check us out. We'd love you guys. And of course, like, subscribe, comment below. If you have a question, comment below. I'll hit up Joel. Tell him to go in there and answer some comments too. All right, guys, I appreciate y'all. Keep working hard. Keep creating great products and keep hustling, talking to customers, building relationships. That's how you win. I'll see you soon.